So, welcome back to the final day of Blast the Process 4, dedicated to all things Sega. I'm your host, Adrian, and I'm still waking up. And I hope you're ready for one of the funkiest games you will ever play, hear, or see. Toe Jam and Earl, we have Hoodie Two Shoes here doing Fixed World, No Doorway. Hey, everybody. How's it going? We are indeed about to get funky. Premise of this game is that we are two funky aliens named Toejam and Earl. We're cruising around in space. Toejam decides to let Big Earl take the wheel for a while. He decides to swerve with swag in and out of some asteroids, and uh, there's some disastrous consequences. We crash land on Earth, and we need to fix our spaceship. And uh, there's a powerful present called a doorway. We're not using it in this run because we're masochists here, I guess. Um, so yeah, this uh, this run has a lot of RNG in it. It's pretty uh, can be potentially dicey, but we're ready for anything. So I am ready for whenever the timer uh, gets counted down. Whenever you're ready to count down, we'll be. Oh, I'll, I'll, I can do the countdown, sure. All right, I'm gonna go from five. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one, go. We are off. So there's a doorway on level one that I just skipped already because I'm not grabbing it. Um, doorways can take you to any random point that's a, that's a walkable terrain in a level. So going through a doorway gives you the potential for, um, like, you want to find a ship piece or you want to find the end of a level, you can go through a doorway and potentially end up directly where you want to be. So um, they're very powerful items, and the whole point of this speedrun is that we're going to have to traverse the whole game without getting one of those real lucky, put you exactly where you want. We have to traverse the whole area. Look at that guy getting in my way. And so that, most of the run is pretty much the same as the any percent run. Um, I will highlight differences um, as I remember them, as we get to them. Um, but most of these levels are going to be the same as they are in the any percent run. Some of the levels we grab extra presents or we avoid doorways that we normally would have grabbed, but mostly it's level 6, level 13, and level 21 where we are deviating from the path because those are doorway levels. 24 and 25 also are, um, but the important ones where we do potentially dangerous things are uh, level 6 and level 21, level 13 to a lesser extent. Uh, I, <laughs> we are not making time for the hula girls in the hot tub, unfortunately, today. But that that's the true ending of the game, is you, you give up trying to fix your spaceship, and uh, you hang out in the hot tub. So there's a doorway I'm just bypassing right there, making sure I don't grab it so I don't mess up my menu. There's a cool point later in the game that um, I would love to say that I meticulously planned and, um, you know, made happen, but I didn't. It just worked out nice that uh, from level 13 through 19, with the exception of a couple of levels, all you have to do to open the present you want at the beginning of a level is to uh, open the menu and hit A. You don't have to move the D-pad at all, and that's pretty great. There is a difference between Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam moves faster when you're walking than Earl does. Uh, Earl has more life, but it ends up not mattering that much because moving faster means you get hit by the Earthlings way less, and uh, getting hit is what loses life. So it turns out even if you have a little bit more life, if you get hit a lot more, you die more. So that's kind of the way it goes. Here's a deviation from the Any% percent run. I'm grabbing that extra pair of rocket skates, which puts us in danger getting mauled by that mailbox monster, but um, I can't tell you exactly how you avoid the mailbox monster there, but my best, it's not a guess because I do it pretty consistently, but um, I think it's about how much time it takes you to get past, like if you run a direct line without any dilly-dallying, I think you have a much better chance of making it past that mailbox monster than if you kind of wiggle a little bit or if you're not 
deliberate with your your lines and your your motion. So here's the first dicey level. We're gonna hope for the best. Normally you uh, open a doorway on this level and hope that you end up on the ship piece. But we don't have that option. So we're going to live a little dangerously here. And we did it. No disasters. The first hurdle is cleared. And that's the, I think that that right there is what scares a lot of people off from trying this category. Is uh, the tight rocket skates movement on some of those skinny pathways that is required. And I say it a lot and sometimes that, you know, maybe it's wrong, but I don't think it's that bad. You just got to learn where you need to be and you just practice it's like anything you just you practice and it, it gets to be not that scary although it's easy to have said that having completed it <laughs> if i had failed maybe you know wouldn't have uh words would not have been as powerful so this is a pretty straightforward level you just gotta fly straight down there is a way to kind of glitch through the L oh my we're gonna waste a little time here to not get tornadoed um there's a way to kind of glitch through the elevator and end up and end up in front of it when you're flying and uh it saves like a second second and a half but it's you know it's hard to do and i don't know exactly how to replicate it over and over again but in my pb the current world record there is a glitch through the elevator with the rocket or the the icarus wings on level seven here we are avoiding another doorway right there that green present with the red ribbon there's a bunch of ways you can go in this level any level where you use rocket skates and like you see how i had a little bit of time at the end there uh the rocket skates have a set duration that they last i can't just end them early i have to i have to endure the whole duration of the skates so um there's a lot of paths you can take in level eight particularly i just use that one because i've done it a whole lot of times from the any percent run There is a dollar here that I will grab and is important later because I'm going to buy a pair of Icarus wings. So the real, uh, you know, I talked about level 6, level 21, level 13 to a lesser extent. The real demon is level 11. Uh, it's a level, this isn't level 11, but I'm going to talk about it already because it's that much of a demon. Level 11 is populated entirely by hula girls and moles. And uh, hula girls can force me to freeze and dance where I am and it stops me from moving, which is bad in a speedrun. But worse than that, the moles are an enemy that will steal your presence. And the worst thing that could happen to me in this speedrun is to have a have my presence be stolen because that's how I go fast. That's how I show you how to do the levels quickly is with presence. And if I lose them, I won't be able to do that and that'll make me feel bad. So we are hoping for the best on level 11 here. Losing time to the hula girls, no big deal. We're not that worried about it right now, but the moles are our mortal enemies at this point. And uh, it's not really up to me, you know? Not really up to me, we're gonna do our best. In a disaster, I'm going to try to drop all my presents and uh, waste a bunch of time. Normally, I would like to see an Earthling here at the top so I can... Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in trouble here. So I would lo would have loved to skip that Poindexter animation, but um, I'm just happy to avoid the moles and not get hula girled and have my presents stolen. So the, the name of the game on this level for the marathon is... Don't lose presence. Oh, and sometimes there's a mole that hides right down here by the elevator. Okay. Made it past 11. Now on level 12, sometimes there's like three moles right by the elevator waiting to try to grab you. That is our next point of concern. 
But losing... Oh, I lost like six seconds there on level 11. That's not a big deal. Nothing to worry about. There is a doorway. Uh, there's two doorways in this level that I am bypassing. Normally you'd take a different route to get to these rocket skates. There's a doorway right there, that green present again. I don't want it. And then there's a landmark that I used to know to try to grab the doorway. Now I have a new landmark to avoid the doorway right there. <laughs> and no moles. Feels good. Feels good. Level 13 used to be a doorway level. Um, you would immediately open up high tops, open up a doorway, and hope to end up on... It's sand, but it's cheese, you know? They might call it sand, but everybody knows that it's cheese. But here, we don't have that option. So we will be high topsing. And I think I'm going to take the safe route. I can jump diagonally here to save some time, but I'm not interested in making the mistake that makes me feel bad. So... Let's not do it. That was a very chicken-free experience. Uh, level 13 is the chicken level, and uh, sometimes the pack of chickens is right on that pathway I need to jump to, and uh, they knock you off the edge. So like I said, 13 starts the levels where I, I just all I had to do was open the menu and then hit A on 13. Oh, same thing here. All you have to do is open the menu and hit A, and your skates are there. Level 15 also. 16, you're still using the high tops from 15, and 17, you open the Icarus wings. But 18 and 19 are also just open the menu. Oops. Oh, that boogeyman is what? Yeah. Uh, we hope not for the RNG. We're hoping for good things here. This level um, in a speed run where you're hoping for a PB can be disastrous for hula girl reasons. Um, like a hula girl in this level is worse than just the time that she makes you lose because uh, the high tops duration is really important during this section of levels. Um, and if you get hula girled, you're standing still and your high tops duration is depleting while you're not moving. And uh, like you want to have the high tops all the way through the end of 16 and into the beginning of 17. And so if you get hula girled, it's not only like say you get hula girled for four seconds on level 15. You're losing more than four seconds of time because um, not only are you losing those four seconds, but then you're going to be walking during one of the next levels where you normally wouldn't be walking. So you're going to lose the time from the walking in addition to the time that the hula girl cost you. So it like it's like compound interest. It really sucks. And we are fortunate that that hula girl I, I ran by didn't didn't grab me. The potential to get mold here on 16, but... Um, should be able to avoid it since I should still have the high tops and he's over there anyway like oftentimes there's a mole right here as it as that stuff reveals at the top of the screen and you don't have a lot of time to react So 16 and 17 are the two levels where you can't just open the menu and uh, hit A to get the item you want. But um, once we get to 18 and 19, those will be. 13 through 19, with the exception of 16 and 17, um, if, you, if you menu the way that I do, um, it makes it so much easier. Like It really saves time knowing that all you have to do is open the menu and hit A. Because using the wrong uh, item is also pretty disastrous. It's not as bad as having a mole steal one, but it's still pretty disastrous. Like, at least if you waste the item, you still get to use the item. 
Um, but it's bad. Those are the two worst case scenarios for me um, in this particular marathon setting is using the wrong present or um, getting mulled. And a mole can take up to three items, yeah. So level 18, pretty straightforward. It's got to run up and left for a while, grab two pairs of rocket skates. There's one. There's two. Uh, my biggest concern here is not spawning terrain. So there's a lot of places... Um, everything is... Lo I've been doing pretty well, I would say. Um on the run and uh i don't think i've spawned any terrain there is a lot of terrain like those t i guess i've spawned terrain that I've, I've meant to like on level six with the rocket skates i did that but there's a whole bunch of places in the game where you can draw paths to other islands and things like that and it um it takes time to do that and i am deliberately avoiding as many of them as i can so it's one of the things that like you can't see uh, that's speed tech is, you know, you won't know unless I do bad. <laughs> if you see a path get drawn, then you can go, oh, he should have done better there. All right. We're moving right along. This is down one for the rocket skates, yep. I definitely don't want to get boogied. That is my chief concern. Um, well, I, you know, at first I have to make it there. But my chief concern going into level 21 is about unwanted boogie interactions. I don't want any boogie interactions in my life. So level 21 is another of the really important doorway levels. Um, in the any percent run and here we are again doing some dicey rocket skate stuff <laughs> to um to try to go fast without doorways so we are hoping for please no boogie no boogie no whammy no boogie no whammy and you'll see what i mean when we get there if there's a boogeyman in the way there's not much that can be done Oh, there was the boogeyman. There was a boogeyman there. There was a boogeyman there. What can you do? What can you do? Please don't knock me off again, Mr. Van. What can you do? There was a boogeyman there. Oh, we are in trouble here. I didn't even grab the extra Icarus wings. Unfortunate. Well, that was pretty seamless until then. I did my best. But the boogeyman was in the one spot he couldn't be. But this is the true no doorway experience. This is what Toe Jam and Earl is. It's friendly aliens just trying to make it home and earthlings saying, uh, no, no, thank you. So I'm not going to the elevator. There's an unfall right here I'm going to use. Yeah, there was another doorway there in case I was interested in using it. We're just going to go here. We're going to get the high tops. And we're going to make it through this. Oof. Why has it got to be like this? Who 
Boogie, boogie, boogie. All right, we did it. Only uh, a minute and 40 seconds behind or whatever. On to level 22. This casually is uh, one of the harder levels to stay alive on because it is populated with ice cream trucks. Oop, that's fine. Those Icarus wings were unnecessary, so I didn't actually waste a present. But those ice cream trucks are fast, relentless, and they do a lot of damage. We might get squished by one. Oh my god, how could he not squish me? I can't believe I did get squished there. In this speedrun and in the any percent speedrun, level 23 is one of the diciest, if not the dice is like execution wise, it's not easy. Um, in the no doorway run, it, I, it might be easier than 21 and 6, I don't know. But it's another dicey one. All I'm trying to say. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, we're fine, I guess. I'm going to spell on the terrain because I was in the wrong spot, but I just, I'm going for safety here. Oof! We went right through that. If he had knocked me off the path, I might have fallen off. I would have felt bad again. It's hard to do the turnaround in the tight manner that I did it after grabbing the ship piece. Um, it's not as easy as it looks to do that quick turnaround. But from here on out, unless there's something... Like, there could be a boogeyman on that little island. I'm going to feel bad. But um, we should be pretty safe from falling. We might get hula girled. That's expected. That was expected. <laughs> that was a long one. <laughs> no boogie, no boogie. Oh, we did it. No boogie. How about you? No boogie? No boogie. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we should. There could be some tornado and bee shenanigans here on level 25, but again, we should be pretty safe be pretty safe to finish the run just under the estimate. Alright, no you don't, you monster. That was... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh man. Welcome to Toe Jam and Earl, friends. I think I did grab those Icarus wings. I can't believe those tornadoes were right there. Ugh. I mean, I can I can totally believe it. Alright, here we go. We might still fit. Oh, we're gonna be a little like a, we're gonna be seconds over the estimate. It's gonna be unfortunate. Some bad Earthling RNG. The tornadoes are technically Earthlings. Why well, they're gonna be in the same spot too? They should move. Uh, maybe they won't move. No, they're gonna still be there, aren't they? I'm gonna spawn the terrain because I don't want to be in the middle. I'm scared. I'm scared of these tornadoes. Well, they're not even here anymore. Look at that, they moved. Those jerks. Alright, it's fine. The time is going to end when I run into this last ship piece here. As soon as I hit it, um, the time is over. Right now. Oh, look at that. It's still under the estimate as far as my count. Oh yeah, like eight seconds under the estimate. Like perfectly timed.
feels good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for the run. Do you have any any last things to say? Uh, just you should never let Earl drive. Um, that's the oh. that's the lesson that we've all learned here. So that's all I got. Oh, oh. fair enough. Fair enough. So thank you, Hoodie Two Shoes, for the run. It's always a pleasure to to see this game. It's a very fun, entertaining game to watch and listen and listen to. Even though luck isn't always in your favor, but that's how it is sometimes. So up next, uh, we're skipping ahead a bit. We're actually going to Toe Jam and Earl Three run by slab stay tuned 